jazz piece? Who's the artist? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. We played a few. I don't, I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, the one that, the, I think the very first one that you were practicing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that was Peggy Sue, I think. I think we'll try, we'll try and say which, what we know about them. As we, as we go. Um, Keith, are you going to be the, the talker? I could talk. Would you? <laughs> That's not my key. <laughs> and in the past, I've not yeah. worn a mask. Yeah. Are, hey, we, is, are nice. the rules? I mean, not rules, but I'll, I'll, I'll not wear one either. Then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a suction. Splued out. jazz saxophonist, uh, one of his few Latin numbers, and kind of the theme this evening is going to be Latin things, obscure things, uh, movie soundtracks that have a kind of uh, sentimental feeling, and so this one is called nice. My Little Suede Shoes. Thank you. 
going to play the melody ever so beautifully. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love Penny Sue. <laughs> Wrote a song about it. Want to hit? Hit, go. <laughs> I should sit. Good doggie. Go right. get your lamb. Right. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. You can yeah. sit right there. He's not going to leave it. Yeah. He doesn't know. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, Keith. Yeah. When you when you called me for this gig, you said you wanted to play some Latin things because you're loving Latin uh, sort of bossa novas. And things. Yes, I love that stuff. And this tune is a uh, one of the more famous uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim songs. It's called Corcovado, which means, or I don't know if it means that, but it has been translated into English as uh, Quiet Nights. So sometimes this song is called Corcovado, and sometimes it's called quiet nights and uh, we're going to do our, our best but remember it doesn't go here it's oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 thank you for that
check my tuning again. Okay. So you have to talk just uh, about people. Hey, um, we're happy to be here. And the lovely fiddlers in. Love playing here. can donate and it's so appreciated oh my god it's really nice you know what i discovered keith what is my a mortgage company doesn't care if i beg <laughs> they don't care if i have integrity or high moral standard they just want their money so thank you very much yeah. in advance for it <laughs> and, exactly uh, now we're going to play a beautiful song written by Sammy Fain. It was a Disney uh, tune. It's called Alice in Wonderland. And I think the most famous version was um, perhaps was by Bill Evans. Yes, that's and, where I uh, heard Keith it. is going to play the melody on this one, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful song. Okay. Yeah, it is. I'll give you a little something. So. Okay, give me a little something. something. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, good. Um, we have at least one more song, so we'll be able to stretch. In the God of the Vita, baby. Right. I'm going to turn on one more song. Oh, that's beautiful. Keith is hydrating, and I'm chewing. This shows you where each of our priorities are. Oh, I was dry. It stayed in there. It stayed. Um, yeah. Okay. This is um, this is one of my favorite songs. It's a country song, nominally. Um, it's called "You Don't Know Me." It was written by a woman named Cindy Walker in the '50s or early '60s. And Eddie Arnold, who was a famous singer in the country world, he was kind of like the Garth Brooks of '60s country or something like that. Not quite, but like that. Um, he had TV shows and all, and he had a pretty big hit on this song. And then, of course, it, it was ruined. Uh, for everybody else afterwards when Ray Charles did his version because I have a theory, it's a universal theory that says if Ray Charles does a version of a song it is then the best version of that song ever before uh, and he can't really do it yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do it in spite, yeah. in spite of that because no one's going to be <laughs> singing this one uh, we're going to play this beautiful song You Don't Know Me
Kindler. Cindy Walker there. We wait for him and Cindy Walker. Hey, you can see Tim Lurch. You probably already know this, but Pearl Django. Awesome band. Tim's in that. We haven't played a gig in about 40 years, but... <laughs> no, this, this pandemic has been a little hard on the old boys. You think? Uh, this one is... Um, this one's tricky. It's a new one for me. You know something about this. That's yes, I do. Movie, right? uh, it's from a movie starring Jacques Tati, and it's Mr. Hulot's Holiday, which is a delightfully charming movie I saw as a kid and loved it right away. Can and you say it in French? Quill Timps Fertil Perry. Good. There. I got the saliva in it. Full rock!
Sidney Bechet playing with this beautiful soprano saxophone with this kind of French feeling. And Sidney Bechet was a great American early jazz pioneer who moved to France because he could make a better living and live a better life there. He was more respected there. And he had this very interesting um, uh, approach. His vibrato was like an old lady in church. I mean, it was really, really wide, you know? And it, but it's so beautiful and uh, so charming. Um, I think maybe what we should do on this one, Keith, is let's just play it once down. I'm and fine leave, with and that. Leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. Let's just because it's so. Let's just say it's it. So beautiful. <laughs>
charming. <laughs> Yes, Darius wrote this one and many others. There's a lot of songs. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, what did you say, Harry Belafonte? Yeah, yeah. That, definitely. Yeah, that Calypso Live. Yeah, we're, we were cruising the islands. Jump the line. How much time we got? Hey, well, you know, there's about, oh, there's three minutes. Oh, we got to do this, but then we'll do this. We're going to end with this beautiful, oh. speaking of movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You cut my strategy. <laughs> one, one, that was one tune I was sure, hoping, we'll end with hoping to avoid. <laughs> no, this is a this is a tune written by Charlie Chaplin for the movie Modern Times. Nice. And uh, Keith is going to play the melody beautifully on it, and uh, we'll just play it and have a nice time. And uh, then we'll finish up. Right, that will be the end of the deal. Right? That will be the end of the deal, and we're so happy to have this deal. Thank mm -hmm. you.